I want to measure the cornering force on a tire, okay? Watch this. If I have uh, this thing here and it's going around a corner, okay? The cornering force is what I'm feeling here in this grip, this one. I want to measure the cornering force available at this tire. Well, if you look what happens is, if this tire were to actually go in the direction it's pointed, everything would be happy. Think about this. Rear tires on your car, rear wheel drive, are commissioned to drive the car forward. So you've got the rear tires telling the car to go this way. Meanwhile, the front tires are turned this way. And they're kind of saying, you want me to go, the back end's pushing me off the outside of the racetrack. So what happens is the tire kind of slides. You see this? It's, it's not following the exact arc. It's kind of pushing a little bit. And the difference between where it's pointed and where it's going is called the slip angle. Kind of like a plane when it flies in a crosswind. It's pointed in this direction, but the wind's blowing in this direction. It's tracking in this direction. That's your slip angle. Tires do the same thing. So what happens is they build up force and they get to a maximum point and then they start to go away. And that's where you want to operate. What happens is you be, if this is slip angle here and this is cornering force here, it builds up, it builds up, it builds up, it builds up, and then it starts to go away. And then finally, where do you suppose this value here is if this is a 10? That's a seven, it's about 70%. Okay, so what happens is,